Hey, hey, hello! My name is Shelly and welcome back uh, to my channel. Aha! <laughs> Jace. So, back for another Tuesday tag. And I've been tagged to do this one too. Yes, it's happening. Uh, so, I've been tagged by Serene Sloth um, to do the philosophy of reading tag. So, we're going to get deep and uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't remember the questions. <laughs> but I feel we're going to get deep about books and reading. So, let's pretend we are clever. And I don't know what this hair is, but it's it's staying for this video. Question number one. What's most important? A good character, plot or message? Ooh, interesting. I mean, I kind of want all of it. I don't feel like I need a message in the story but i mean if there is a message that's always like a bonus um but i feel like you either need like a good character or characters or you need a good plot uh world um i mean the best is if you can get both the character and the plot world thing uh but rarely you actually get all of the things so I would say you either need a good plot or you need great characters pick one and stick with it um, but ideally everything question number two should one read books about ideas or opinions they disagree with and I mean I guess I would have to say like yes and no um no if it's just going to upset you and uh, going to be terrible for you. But also, yes, because uh, it's good to get a different point of view to your view. And, um, like, it's it's about challenging yourself, isn't it? So, I mean, yeah, I think you need to, like, figure out if you want the challenge or if you don't want the challenge. And how much it's going to piss you off, basically. Question number three. As tech advances, what do you think will be the role of books? Well, I hope books, as in the physical kind of books, will always be there. Um, but, I mean, I think it's going to be more and more maybe not the physical books anymore. And, I mean, if, you, we, if we watch a lot of, like futuristic movies and stuff then I mean books don't really exist anymore and and if they do like the story um you get in you're getting it on a digital platform and maybe just beamed straight to your brain what do I know I mean for me I'm, I'm, I mean I'm not gonna live for another hundred years um, unless something very weird is happening. Um, but for me, I hope that the physical kind of book will always be in existence because it's just something about that. It's something about holding that physical thing. And if you like sniffing books, I mean, that's a thing. Um, that That's a thing too. Question number four. How important are summaries, review and art in your book choosing? So I mostly go by the cover or if the title is interesting sounding uh, or I mean I know about the author or I've read something by the author before. So that's basically how I choose books and the like, I guess, secondary way I choose books is if I've either, like, seen a picture of it on Instagram, so I guess the art of it, uh, or I've heard someone speaking about it on YouTube. And uh, I, most of... Let's be honest with, 
like the summaries and reviews we get on YouTube because a lot of them um, don't actually read the books. Yeah, I mean, once you've read the books they've reviewed or summarized in some way and you realize that they have no clue what this book actually is about, yeah. <laughs> But I do still enjoy watching other people talk about books. I mean, I'm doing it kind of right now and I don't have a clue about anything. I I haven't actually said I've read a book that I haven't read yet, so there's always that. But I'm very bad at explaining things, so my thoughts go all over the place. So there's that. Question number five. Should one ever skim or scan a book? Skim or scan? I'm, I'm thinking they kind of mean the same thing that you like sort of skim through the book and just like meh 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 and skip a couple of pages because the other form of scanning a book I'm thinking you physically scan the book so it's on your screen and that doesn't really make any sense <laughs> um I mean, I think that's really up to the person reading whatever book. Um, I know I've done it on occasion, uh, especially with school books that I didn't actually want to read. Um, I do try to, if, if I feel myself like start slowly skimming books, um, I try to stop reading that book and just pick up another book and then go back to that book at a later date. Um, because I know when, when I start getting bored, I start to do like, oh, it's never gonna end soon. Because I know when I start to get bored of a book or plot of a story or whatever, I start to like look at how many pages are left and like sort of try to read a bit faster. And I know that uh I, I don't like it i don't like it when i do that so what i do is leave it for now pick up something else and go back to that later so that's the way uh but i really think that's up to the individual person if you want to skim the book you go on ahead i i feel like you're gonna miss a lot of the actual book but you do you Question number six, should reading always be enjoyable? I really want to say yes, <laughs> um, but I know there's loads of reading, like reading for school and all that, that's not always very enjoyable. But like the, the hobby of reading, the art of reading should really be enjoyable. If you're not enjoying yourself, what are you doing? Um, I feel like that goes for most things. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, why are you doing it? Let's question that part. So yeah. Question number seven, is it important to be well read? No. <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, I know that a lot of people want to like, um, belittle people that aren't very well read and I mean everybody's different and I mean some people like reading and you should definitely read if you like reading but if you don't like to read you shouldn't have to read and I mean it doesn't make you any less of a person if you don't read and have read a lot in your life or anything like that I mean you have your own you have your own way of getting the entertainment that you need. So, I mean, no. Question number eight. What is your book buying process? Buy all the books. <laughs> Honestly, um, I guess I try to get like the books I really want to read now. Um, I know, I, I mean, I tend to buy a lot of books at once rather than like one or two at a time. So uh, I know that 
even though I really, really want to read them at the time of buying them, that when I get home and, you know, look at them, I might go like, oh, I don't want to read this right now, and it can end up on my shelf for a bit, because, uh, yeah, I do have a lot of unread books that have been there for a good long while, but yeah um so i tend to buy a lot of books at once and yeah ideally i would like to just binge all the books that i buy but i mean i want to enjoy the books as well um i usually try to go for like if there's like a new one in a series i'm currently reading and i'm like on the next book or if it's uh, if I if I buy a series, if I buy if if a series has been completed, I try to buy all the books in the series at once rather than one at a time. Mostly because I like it when they have like the same kind of style on the covers, the same kind of height and all that. Um, but yeah, it's not always the best. You can read the first one and go like, oh damn, I have six more books in this series and I didn't like the first one. Whatever do I do now? What's a waste of money? Um, that hasn't happened a lot, but <laughs> I mean, it's the first time for everything. Knock on wood. Question number nine. What is your reading process? I mean, find the time, pick a book, read. Start at the beginning, end at the end? I'm not sure how to answer this question, honestly. If there's a series and it's finished, I try to complete that series as soon as possible. Um, but I also try to, like, not binge read that series, but put, like, different books in between, at least one book in between each book of the series. Um, so that, because... <clears throat> Because when I binge something, I get so sucked into that world that um, I would be putting myself into a slump where I wouldn't be able to pick up any book because I would want to be in that world. And uh, yeah, that's that's not very good. I get, I have a very, so my personality can be very like obsessive in um in the way that if i read something or watch something a lot of something um i i i'm hooked and i need more and if there's no more i'm sad <clears throat> and uh i'm not able to pick up more after it so that's how reading slumps and other slumps start and we try to avoid that around here because yeah those suck those absolutely suck question number 10 how do you use what you read i mean i don't read a lot of like non-fiction and stuff so <laughs> it's hard to say um <laughs> I'm not sure how I use fantasy worlds and stuff. I mean, it does make my imagination go crazy, which I kind of enjoy. Uh, let's be real, let's be honest here. <laughs> I'm not sure how to answer that one, to be quite frank. I use it to pick up more books. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, does it? Question number 11. If you can download a book to your brain, would you still read? Ooh, interesting. I mean, I really enjoy the process of like sitting down, picking up the book and like reading word for word stuff. But I mean... If I can just download it into my brain, I would save so much time. Um, I don't know what I would do with my time if I could do that, though. Maybe I would use, like, instructional manuals and stuff and be able to download that, because that would be great, because who doesn't want to know how to do stuff? Uh, and, like, save the fiction for book formats. Could I do that? <laughs> that would be very handy 
Question number 12. What are your views on rereading a book? I love it. <laughs> I love rereading books. I, I tend to reread a lot. I used to reread a lot more than I have like recently um because i had no money to buy new books so i read the books i had um i mean we can all relate can't we um and i i mean i like rereading because i like going back to that world it's the same thing with like watching a movie you watch 50 times previously or re-watching tv series that you love um it's the it's the love of going back into that world, so I love rereading. I wish I could do more of it, but I also want to read new books, so it's the balance. We need to find the balance. <laughs> Question number 13. What makes a book good? I mean, this is very personal. I mean, it's very personal, not like I won't say anything about it, but it's very personal to the individual person does that make sense um i mean it depends on what you like and what you enjoy <laughs> which is basically the question and i'm just asking a question for the question <laughs> so i myself i like um, I like a lot of like supernatural elements to the story so if there's like supernatural elements there's a very good chance I am going to enjoy said story whatever plot or character things there are in it uh, I mean I'm not going to say there are not bad supernatural things because there definitely are but uh yeah i i guess for me supernatural and you have me question number 14 what makes a book bad so <laughs> i mean we kind of brushed on it earlier and it's the thing where a book a book either needs um good characters that you can relate to or has like a a visual purpose a purpose that you can you can see that they are going somewhere with their life um or it needs a good plot um that keeps 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 everything moving or it needs like this amazing world where you you've been painted a picture and you're like yes i know exactly what you're describing to me and this is Mwah, chef's kiss. If a book has none of these or have all of them but done poorly, uh, yeah, that's gonna make a book bad. Also, loads of grammatical errors are just annoying. Editors, what are you even doing? Question number 15. How do you feel about not finishing a book? I cannot do it. <laughs> I don't think I have ever DNF'd a book in my life. No. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of bad because when you think about it, you only have so much time in your lifetime to read so many books. And I mean, if you read a book that you're not liking, <laughs> um, you're kind of wasting your time, really. Um, but... I mean, if I start a book, I want to know what where they're going with said book. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm reading that damn thing until it's done. Uh, and I mean, I might not pick up another book by said author or something like that. And maybe not if it's a series, I may not pick up the second book. Oh, who am I kidding? I probably would pick up the second book as well. But I probably wouldn't pick up more from said author. If that makes sense. Question number 16. Should the author's personal life matter at all? I mean, it's it's hard to say. I mean, for the book in general, for a book or a series, the author has sort of just done the job with writing said book or series and then 
it's out in the world. I mean, their personal life doesn't really matter surrounding that story. Uh, but, I mean, when it comes to, like, authors being a bit... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everybody goes out promoting their books and um, said author just gets more and more famous. I mean, it, it gets kind of hard to... Because you don't really want to promote books by authors who are very, very controversial and um, may not edit their words um and opinions very well uh <laughs> so i mean you don't want to support them in that way that you don't want to make them more famous and more rich or whatever but at the same time uh you kind of if if the book is good and it's something you've been loving for forever you kind of don't want to stop loving it i mean it's kind of hard to like do that and I don't know, it's very hard. I, I think it shouldn't because I feel, I feel like the books and the author should be separate things. But at the same time, I know that they're not. Um, so it's that fine line that you don't want to cross, but you kind of do anyway. Mm, it's a difficult question, this. Question number 17. If you could only read one genre for the rest of time, what would it be? YA? <laughs> I mean, that's very vague, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. I guess... I guess I would have to say, like, fantasy. Um... If I couldn't be vague with just saying YA and just getting like all sorts, sorts of books. But yeah. <laughs> uh, if I could be vague and go with YA and then go like YA fantasy, YA contemporary and do all the things, I would do that. But um, if I could, if I had to be more specific, I'd probably say fantasy. What? Where are you? Where'd you go? Oliver? Hi! Hello? Question number 18. Do you ever read a book without knowing anything about it? Yes! All the damn time! That is how I like to pick up a book. I don't want to know anything about it. If for some reason I should know anything about it, I want to know things like uh, if it's fantasy based or if it's like rom-com or thriller I want it to be very vague I don't want plot lines <laughs> uh, I mean you can mention like there's certain creatures in this said book and I would be very good with that that is as much as I want to know about the book going into it honestly um, I, I really want to know as little as humanly possible, which is actually very hard, um, but I prefer not knowing anything about the book when I go into it. Yeah. Question number 19. What author, genre, series or culture can you just not get into and why? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I read just about anything, so, yeah. I mean, I'm not into the, like, the heavily smutty adult kind of adult smutty smuttiness. Um, the, uh, let's call them soft porn, because... That's basically what it is. I'm not really into that. I mean, some smut in the books, yes, that's fine. But just throughout the whole thing, no nah, thanks. <laughs> that's not really my thing. I mean, I mean, yeah. 
I guess that's the only thing I can think of. It's just not my thing. We're all different. Question number 20. Do you think everyone should read and why? <laughs> so I think that everyone who likes to read should read if they are able. Um, if you're not like, if you don't like reading, that is perfectly fine. I think you should read if you want to read and I don't think it should be forced on anyone and you shouldn't have to feel ashamed or anything because you're not a reader. Um, really that is everyone is different and it's perfectly okay to be either way. <laughs> So, uh, that was it for me today. I felt like this tag was a very long one. Uh, I might have just gone off on a tangent a couple of times, but we shall see <laughs> once I edit this video, so that shall be interesting. So, you know, um, if you want to do this tag, you go do this tag. Uh, maybe you'll have some better answers than I clearly have. Um, I'm not a great thinker, okay? And I'm very bad at explaining things. That is me in a nutshell. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. So, until next time, I take care. Oh, bye-bye.